So, you're interested in the new 2024 MT-09, but curious about what sets apart the regular base model from the fancy SP version, which will cost you $1,700 more. In terms of how much power they put out, both of them churn out identical 119 horsepower and 93 newton meters of torque at the crank. But in terms of weight, the SP is a tad heavier than the base model by just one kilo, which ends up giving it a slightly lower power to weight ratio, but we're talking less than half a percent here, so we probably won't even notice the difference. As for the engine, mechanically there is no change to the SP model, with both powered by the same 890cc inline three cross plane with DOHC valve train, made it to a six speed wet clutch featuring assist and slipper, and a compression ratio of 11.5 to one. Moving on to features, this is where the SP gets special treatment. Both models come with ABS brakes, a six-axis IMU, and throttle by wire, offering three preset riding modes and two customizable ones. But the SP takes it further with four additional track-specific riding modes and the ability to turn off the rear ABS. Then, both bikes are also equipped with traction control, wheelie control, slide control, cruise control, a bi-directional quick shifter, and Yamaha's new back slip regulator, which Yamaha claims reduces rear wheel lockup under engine braking by controlling the level of torque supplied to the wheel. A 5-inch TFT display with smartphone connectivity and navigation system is available on both models, but the SP gets exclusive track theme for its display, complete with a lap timer. Now for rider aids exclusive to the SP model, it gets engine brake management, with two selectable settings to control the degree of engine braking when you release the throttle or downshift while on the track. And there is also a Yamaha smart key system for keyless ignition that works as long as the key fob is near your bike, such as in your pocket, which also features a lock and unlock function for the fuel tank cap. As for the chassis, there is no difference in the frame, with both utilizing the same perimeter frame made from aluminum, although for the SP model, Yamaha adds a nice touch with a polished and clear-coated aluminum finish on the swing arm, complementing the Air 1M inspired color scheme. Up front, both are equipped with a 41mm upside-down fork from Kayaba that offers a full range of adjustability, but for the SP, Kayaba adds a special touch by treating the inner tubes with DLC or diamond-like carbon coating for a smoother surface and reduced operating temperature. On top of that, it also features a gold anodized finish on the outside. Moving to the rear, the base model MT-09 gets Kayaba Mono Shock which can only be dialed for preload and rebound, while the SP gets Fancy O-Lean Shock which is fully adjustable and comes with a remote preload adjuster. Last but not least, for brakes, the base model MT is fitted with four piston radial mount calipers from Advix, while the SP is equipped with Brembo Stylema, with both bikes as calipers bites on the same 298mm discs, and paired with a Brembo radial master cylinder. Then, for everything else, they are pretty much identical. Both sport the same tire size for the front, and also rear, running on a new Bridgestone S23. They also share the same wheelbase length, seat height, and overall width. Lastly, for price, the SP model comes in at $12,299, making it $1,700 more expensive than the base model. If you're curious about more detailed information on what's new with the 2024 MT-09 and how it compares to the old 2023 model, just give this video a watch.